Hi, so we're going to talk about why fasting is key to burning fat and why diets eventually stop working. In this presentation, you're going to see how fasting actually sets your hormones to burn fat and how diets set you up for failure eventually and how it's possible to incorporate fasting into your daily schedule without really being hungry. So most of the information found here is from the Immune System Booster. This is uh, a product which also takes you through a way of regenerating the entire immune system in a matter of days. And it gives you access to our fasting library, where you find all sorts of fasting-related information. And that's available on stayonthehealthtrack.com slash immune system booster for all of those who want to study this further. So, fasting actually affects your hormones. It does so much more. In fact, there's a whole bunch of different health benefits that you get from fasting. Here you see just a couple. You see that you'll increase your growth hormone, your ghrelin levels, your insulin sensitivity, stress resistance, adrenaline. Uh, you'll be decreasing your insulin, blood sugar, leptin levels, um, IGF factor 1, uh, which is interesting because this is the insulin-like growth factor and it's uh, actually decreasing while growth hormone is increasing so uh, it's kind of a unique situation uh, your total cholesterol and LDL cholesterol will go down uh, your glycerides triglycerides and the CRP value which is an indication for inflammations in your body but there are two keys that I want us to focus on for the burning fat issue. So one is the growth hormone that goes up and the other the insulin which goes down. So more growth hormone, what does that mean? Well, that means that you will be stimulating fat burning, muscle growth, strong bones, your immune system and free fatty acids. So the key here being burning fat. So the more growth hormone you get, the more you'll be stimulating uh, your body's uh, ability to burn fat. And the low insulin, why is that interesting? Well, it turns out that when insulin is high, it becomes very difficult for your body to burn fat. And fasting actually lowers the insulin and thus making it possible to burn fat. Because you remember, insulin takes sugar from your blood into your cells, where it's turned into energy. But if you have a lot of sugar, then why would your body all of a sudden start burning your own fat, right? So, in general, when you have high insulin levels in your body, it will be difficult for your body to burn fat. And also there's another uh, positive side to this, and that is that fasting also increases insulin sensitivity. And this will be protecting you against diabetes and blood sugar related issues like hypoglycemia, for instance. Also, fasting speeds up your metabolism. So diets, which is a form of calorie restriction, will all eventually slow down your metabolism. So in the beginning, all is fine. You eat less, maybe you exercise, and you're really losing weight. But then you reach that plateau, and all of a sudden, you're eating almost nothing, exercising widely, <laughs> and yet, somehow, your body adapts and is able to live on less food without losing weight. So it's kind of a setup. Whereas fasting does the opposite. It actually revs up your metabolism. So after fasting, your metabolism will be higher than it was before. 
So this is an awesome thing if you're wanting to lose weight. Okay, so how should you fast? Well, an example. Uh, the best way I would recommend uh, is to do some form of intermittent fasting. Longer fasts are great and um, awesome for uh, a number of reasons, but it's good to also use some form of intermittent fasting. So, one example is eat only during eight hours of the day and then fast during the remaining 16 hours. 16 hours. So, uh, what would a schedule look like when uh, it comes to this kind of a uh, fast? Well, this could be an example. For instance, you would have a late breakfast at 10 a.m., then regular lunch and maybe a dinner at 6 p.m. But then after your dinner, you wouldn't eat anything until the next day, breakfast time, which will be late because it's at, at uh, 10 a.m. This is a schedule that uh, can work for you, but it might not. So the key is to fit the schedule into your particular day. So a popular method that works for a lot of people because it kind of com works well with how a lot of people work, their work schedule, is to skip breakfast entirely. No need to even think about it, makes things easier. And then just have lunch, start at noon, and a dinner at 8 p.m. Uh, this is a method that's been used by a lot of people who want to uh, lose fat because they're and, and grow muscle at the same time, and they're bodybuilders, so they really want to lose all of that last fat as well, so that they can show off your, their beautiful muscles, right? So uh, it works, and it works well for them. And uh, this is just another example of uh, a possible schedule. But the thing is that once you start on any kind of schedule like this, you will very soon get used to it and you will not feel hungry. You will not feel like you're fasting. It will just be a normal day, regular routine, and you will actually be fasting without thinking about it. So that's it. Try it out and you will stop reaping the benefits. There's a bunch of health benefits. And one of my favorite is an improved mood, actually. But before you try anything out, you really should check with your health practitioner to see if you are a good candidate for this lifestyle. Because some people are just not. Um, you might be on some kind of medication, have a, a condition of some sort that really is not uh, optimal for this type of a lifestyle. So check with your physician first. And if you want to find out more, more of this kind of informa information, well, then visit, please go and visit stayonthehealthtrack.com slash immune system booster. Thanks for hanging out.